involved with drug testing, you've probably heard of a five panel drug test. Not too familiar with drug testing, you may not have heard of a five panel drug test. But that's the most often drug test that's performed for American workers and applicants here in the United States. Joe Riley here, president of National Drug Screening. At National Drug Screening, we get questions all the time from both employers and individuals. And a lot of the questions are about what, what type of drug test should I be ordering? And what we're going to talk about today is a five-panel drug test, which is, is the most often ordered drug test. And if we go back to the early 1980s, when drug testing first started in the United States, the five panel drug test was the standard and it kind of remains the standard today. And that drug test, that five panel drug test has evolved a bit over the years, but its basic format is the five drugs of marijuana, cocaine, amphetamines, pencyclidine or PCP, the opioids. So the five drugs have always been the five drugs that we test for. DOT drug testing, testing required by the United States Department of Transportation, is also those same five drugs. Now that panel's expanded a little bit over the years. The amphetamine panel today includes ecstasy and methamphetamine. That wasn't always the case. The opiates panel today for Department of Transportation DOT regulated testing is actually now called opioids. And in the past, it included codeine and morphine. They added heroin five or so years ago, and just recently, January 1st of 2018, they added what we call expanded opiates, which include hydromorphone, hydrocodone, oxymorphone, and oxycodone. So this is now picking up synthetic narcotics, opioids that people may be abusing or not taking with a legitimate medical explanation. We also see the five panel drug test as the commonly ordered test for probation type testing throughout the United States and also for many court ordered testing situations, child custody cases, divorces, and other type tests for personal reasons. So the five panel test is the most commonly ordered. Often we see urine alcohol testing being added to that five panel. Now we only recommend that for probation, court ordered testing, personal testing. We never recommend urine alcohol testing for the workplace, for applicants or employees. That type of alcohol testing should be a breath alcohol test that is measuring current impairment. Now, going back to the five panel drug test, again, amphetamines, marijuana, cocaine, opioids, and PCP or pencyclidine. Today, in a non regulated environment, non DOT, we do see some employers now adding also the expanded opiates, like DOT, and we call that a five-panel DOT-like test, which is going to have those first five drugs, as well as the expanded opiates that we've mentioned, the hydrocodone, the hydromorphone, the oxymorphone, and the oxycodone. So some people may think that's a nine-panel drug test, because you've got the five and you've got the four expanded opiates we still call it a five panel drug test. And in the case of adding the expanded opiates, the new name is kind of the five panel 
DOT-like test. Also, in the non-DOT environment, not regulated by DOT, some employers want to go further and add additional drugs that might be prescribed or might be abused without a prescription. So that can lead to an employer ordering a 10-panel drug test. The 10-panel drug test would be the first five that we've mentioned, the cocaine, the marijuana, the opioids, the uh, PCP, and the amphetamines, and then adding barbiturates, benzodiazepines, propoxepine, methadone, and methaqualone. So that makes up what we commonly call a 10-panel drug test. Some of the labs we deal with are actually only doing a nine-panel. They're dropping off the methaqualone because nobody's done a quaalude here in the United States in probably a good 15 years. They're not manufactured any longer. Now, so when you hear of a five-panel, you should know what it is based on today's video. When you hear of a 10-panel, you should know what it is. Now, if you ask me for a 13 panel, I don't know what it is. You're gonna to have to tell me what are the 13 drugs that you're looking to test for. So we have a standard for a five panel. We have a standard for a 10 panel. We don't really have a standard for other quantities of panels, six panel, seven panel, eight panel, 14 panel. Now, the five panel drug test with a urine specimen is very, very common. But you can also do a five panel drug test with a hair specimen. And we can also add the expanded opiates. You can also do a five panel drug test with an oral fluid specimen. And we can also add the expanded opiates. So a hair test gives a longer look back period up to 90 days. Oral fluid, test, oral fluid testing gives a very shorter window of detection, probably one to two days on most drugs. So oral fluid drug testing, going to a lab for initial screening and confirmation testing would be a good choice for a post-accident drug test or a reasonable suspicion drug test. In those situations, we're looking to determine recent use. So hopefully today you've learned what the five panel drug test is. You know that expanded opiates can be added to it. You know for personal drug testing, urine alcohol can be added to it. And then we can go up to a 10 panel, but there's lots of other panels you can add. We just need to know what drugs that you're looking to test for. At National Drug Screening, we get phone calls every day from individuals looking to order a personal drug test. We get calls every day from employers looking to do a drug test on a current employee or on an applicant. We hope you learned a little bit from today's video, but you can learn a lot more by going to our YouTube channel or by going to our website. We have a great blog, so visit often www.nationaldrugscreening.com.